Hurricane Helene ravaged parts of Western North Carolina, leaving behind a trail of devastation that's going to take decades to heal. Meteorologist Lance Blocker has a look at the recovery process. Western North Carolina was among the hardest hit areas by Helene, the forest across Sugar Mountain, an annual vacation destination for many families in the Triangle, were heavily impacted. I visited the mountain a few weeks ago, and while most of the roads and infrastructure have been fully repaired, the natural landscape tells a different story, one that will take a while to rewrite. The North Carolina Forest Service estimates that 822,000 acres of timberland were damaged by Hurricane Helene in North Carolina alone. Southern-facing slopes, including those on Sugar Mountain, bore the brunt of the storm's fury, with extreme winds toppling trees across large swaths. Meanwhile, leeward slopes, those on the northern side, were sheltered from the worst winds, often appearing untouched. The contrast can be striking even as you drive up the mountain. This spring, some regrowth is expected. Grasses and fast-growing brush species will begin to reclaim the land. But according to forestry experts, the recovery of mature forest ecosystems could take 50 years or more. While the scars of Helene remain, so does the enduring beauty of Sugar Mountain and Western North Carolina. These communities are not only rebuilding, but inviting visitors to experience their resilience and their charm. It's a testament to the strength of the people and the place they call home. For CBS 17 News, I'm meteorologist Lance Blocker.